from the Bog Ice Arena in Kingston, Massachusetts. The Massachusetts High School Division IV Hockey Tournament rolls on. Today, the Norwell Clippers take on the Western Mass champion Greenfield Green Wave. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Green Wave Tournament Hockey on GCTV and FCAT. I'm the Skate Doctor, Lou Bordeaux, joined once again by Coach Bill Drake. Bill, welcome. Thank you, Lou. We are pleased to be able to bring you today's game. Coach, I know we both burned the midnight oil last night trying to find some stats on this Norwell Clipper team. Strictly speaking, stats appear to be far and few between. What we do know is that the Clippers come into this game ranked as the number one D4 team in the state. That's right. They are undefeated in league play. 8-0 there, and they are 19-1 overall with a 109 goals for to 22 against. They play in the South Shore League, and they've won that five straight times. And there's 41 teams out of the South Shore area that are in competing in Division 1 through 4 in Ma uh, Massachusetts boys hockey. Well, the Green Wave earned their way into today's game with an inspired three to nothing win over Gardner last Wednesday at the CMA in Greenfield. Matt Lavoine's first period goal stood up as the game winner. Third period tallies from captain Kevin Bauman and alternate captain Sammy Knight, along with a 24 save shutout by Josh Bordeaux were what stood out on the score sheet. Bill, what did you like about the structure in that game for the Green Wave? Uh, the thing I was most impressed about with their structure was their north-south game. We talked about that in that uh, intermissions there and that was really a key getting the pucks deep and getting some shots on net and some high percentage areas was really impressive and the other thing was the depth that they rolled with the ability to roll three lines and grind people down really showed that they were able to take the next step in this um, state playoff tournament okay a, a little bit earlier on I had the chance to talk to Green Wave head coach Adam Bouchard can we check that video out now with coach Bouchard Right before a state playoff game, head coach Adam Bouchard of the Green Wave. Coach, got here through that big 3-0 win over Gardner the other night. Whole different, whole different season now, one and done. So what are we looking at here? You know, how exciting is this? You know, you, you come into the season the first Monday after Thanksgiving, you know, wanting to get yourself in position to play some bonus hockey. Uh, we were able to play our hockey game with that 3-0 victory over Gardner earlier in the week. And now we get a nice spot. Uh, bus ride down here to Kingston, Mass, when Norrell wants to play us in their rink. So we're really excited about it. You know, you come in here, like you said, it's a whole new season. The next team to win five games is the next state champion. So, like you say, good bus ride down. The fellas are very uh, enthused about the game today. Uh, what can you tell us about Norwell? Well, you know, they're the number one seeded team for a reason, right? They come in, I believe, with an 18-1 and record. But if you really look at it, uh, speaking with their coach prior to the game, you know how their season really went and how their league looked this year. Uh, we're really excited to be here because when you really look at it from the new MIAA power ranking system, they have Noel ranked number one. They have your Green Wave ranked as uh, 32. And uh, why not come down to the bog, be that bracket buster? That's what we're looking for tonight. You know, what I really like to see with our team is the last uh, month or so, and in particular the last one to two weeks of practice, have been extremely businesslike. Our leaders on the student-athlete side have really taken ownership and have really started to lead in a very good way, and we're really excited to see what this game brings us. All right. Good luck, Coach. We're looking forward to it. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks, Nick Doc. Go Green. Going to be back with hockey action in just a minute. Always a pleasure to speak to the coach. We thank him for his time. I'd also like to be able to thank our underwriters who helped make Green Wave Hockey possible here on GCTV and FCAT. Greenfield Cooperative Bank, they're on the web, greenfieldcoopbank.com, or give them a call, 1-877-682-0334. Mesa Verde Greenfield, located at 10 Fisk Avenue, they're on the web, mesaverdegreenfield.com. Alex Cyano CPA, located at 377 Main Street in Greenfield, Give Alex a call, 413-774-6036. Regary Real Estate, located at 82 Federal Street in Greenfield, 413-222-9291. Greenfield Savings Bank, located at 400 Main Street in Greenfield. On the web, greenfieldsavings.com. The Terraza Restaurant at the Country Club of Greenfield. They're on the web, terrazagreenfield.com. 
And don't forget the Balkan Lounge located at 4 Aim Street. Be sure to check them out on Facebook. Teams are all done with their warm-ups. Gathering around each other for their last minute strategy for this tournament game. Shortly we're going to go down to ice level for the starting lineups and the national anthems. And we'll be back with hockey action right after that. Thank you. Bill, did you get one of these? Just that one. But. Well, Bill, I guess we're not getting starting lineups here today. I can tell people watching at home that the home team, the Norwell Clippers, are going with Max Milano and Timmy Ward on D, Ronan Schiapani, Aiden Cole, Austin Shea is their forward line. Freshman Quinn Devon between the pipes for them. Green Wave is likely going to go with the line of Shane Prusak, Matt Lavoine, and Trevor Kacheski, I believe. MJ Paul and Kevin Bauman on defense. Josh Bordeaux between the pipes for the Green Wave. Good crowd on hand here at the Bog. Fill in quick. But for all the rinks that we've been to, Bill, this is the first time I've ever been to the Bog. I've never made it down to the South Shore to take in a hockey game myself, so it's the first time. Good atmosphere. Student section from Norwell to our left. Green Wave fans over to our right. And we're off. Face-off win by Green Wave to start talking. Kevin Bauman sidestep, sends it right in. Shot right off the bat. Save, Devin. Kevin Bauman stepped through traffic right there, found the opening, got the shot away. Face off to the left side of Quinn Devon. Bauman sends it back in behind the net. Puck comes around this way. Paulin can't keep it in at the blue line. Austin Shea breaks out. Shot by Timmy Ward, deflected up into the netting. Face off is going to be to Josh Bordeaux's left side. 24 seconds into this one. A couple of face-offs already. Bauman clears his zone. Picked up by Aiden Cole. Puck bounces off the boards. Backhanded into the green wave end.
Puck is loose in the near corner. Sent back around the far side. Kevin Leary on it for Norwell. This shot went wide. Bordeaux saved through traffic. Another shot blocked by Lavoine. Tried to feed Kaczewski, couldn't quite get it through Max Milano. Puck sent back deep behind the green wave net. Kept in by Connor Terrian. Nolan Petricelli got the shot away. That went wide. Brody Gagne tried to clear the zone. Joe Daly intercepted. Save Bordeaux. Another save. Finally, he ties it up. Well, good strong start by Green Wave. Gain that first shot. Some time in their own zone with Norwell. But that's to be expected. You just got to kind of bend and not break here early on. Get your feet under you. And it's always tough, Bill, after a long bus ride. Puck right off the bat. Jack Coyle got the shot away. Bordeaux ties that one up. Faceoff's going to be to Josh's left side. Got 12.58 remaining in the first period. Number one seeded Clippers have been camped out in the green wave zone here for the last minute or so. Jason Smith battles in the corner, sends it around the far side. Hunter Smith gets spun around. Prusak gets it out of the zone, can't quite get it to Kaczewski. Puck is sent back in by Timmy Ward. Lavoine gets it out. Kaczewski's got some open ice. One move too many. Ward picked that one off. Battle in front of the Norwell bench. D to D, Jack Coyle up to Austin Shea. Shea's shot is blocked by MJ Paulin. Ethan Bryant looks to get it out. Max Milano got a shot off from the point. That was deflected up over the net. Carried in. Bordeaux's going to tie that up. Griffin Vitrano went one way. The puck went the other. Face off once again in the green wave zone. Well, everybody's getting involved. Got to get the hits early, get your body in the game, especially like you were saying after a long bus ride. That's been happening. Now we want to see some offensive attack, attack formations here. Kevin Leary, Leary, excuse me, circles. He loses control. Brody Gagne's got it. Looks to flip it out. Max Milano got a glove on it. One of his own players made the touch. So that's a hand pass. Faceoff will come all the way back down. To the left side of goaltender Quinn Devon. 11.32 to go in the first period of play. No score on the board. That was a good break by Green Wave. You can see what Norwell's plan is there. Stack the blue line. Make them try to have to beat you quickly. Pass went through the feet of Griffin Vitrano. Couldn't quite control. Comes back out to the point. Bordeaux save. Another save. Puck goes behind the net. He's lost his stick. Kevin Bauman picks up the puck. Sammy Knight on the left wing. Gets the puck battered away by Aiden Coyle. Clippers go the other way. And plays offside. Good play by Sammy Knight there. Gets some speed through the neutral zone. It's a big neutral zone here at the bog. A lot of distance between the blue lines to traverse. Definitely a good observation. That's going to make the play a little bit different to break out and get into some offensive momentum there compared to the CMA. Yeah, Jake Jerk gets shouldered off of that one. Hunter Smith picks it up behind his own net. RJ Grondon 
Banks it off the boards. Wisman finds Grondon. 80 footer, corralled by Devon. Gloves it off. Puck goes into the far corner. Joe Daly behind the green wave net. Finds Grondon on the boards. Kept in at the blue line. Connor Terrian. Battle with Hunter Smith. Puck is backhanded away by Jason Smith. Bordeaux got a stick on that to deflect it out of harm's way. Jake Jurek sends the length of the ice for icing. Take a little bit of the heat off of Green Wave netminder Josh Bordeaux. 9.50 to go in a scoreless first period here at the Bog in Kingston, Mass. Some great saves there by Bordeaux. A lot of screens, a lot of feet in the way, but he's able to get the pads down and get a save there. Pollen looks to clear, rides the boards, kept in at the point. Timmy Ward finds Ronan Schiapani behind the green wave net. Kocheski can't clear the zone. Kept in again. Oh no, poke checked out by Kocheski. Clippers are gonna reset. MJ Pollen picks up the puck behind his own net. Long cross ice feed. Eventually found Kocheski. Kocheski gets it into the Norwell zone. Delayed offside, green wave tag up. Max Milano behind his net. Finds Austin Shea. Pollen deflected Schiapani's shot wide. Pollen takes a look. He's got some real estate. Clear center ice. Threw that 80 footer in. Devin put the glove on that. We would like to thank our underwriters this season on Green Wave Hockey, Greenfield Cooperative Bank. They're on the web, greenfieldcoopbank.com, or give them a call, 877-682-0334. Breakaway for Vitrano. Bordeaux save. Got the right pad on that. Nice save. Gagne, a little dangle, gets out of the zone. Finds Garvin. Garvin's got Sammy Knight. Nice shot is blocked by Jack Coyle. Clippers go the other way. Petrano again. Drops it for Kevin Leary. Another save, Bordeaux. Shot's blocked by Kevin Bauman. Puck is picked up in the neutral zone by Quinn Simmons. We know that Quinn Simmons had a hat trick in the old Oaken Bucket game a few weeks ago. Four check. Joe Daly picks it up. Look to send it deep into the green wave zone. Went up and over the bench in the glass. Faceoff's going to be right in front of the green wave bench. 7.45 to go in the first period of play. Faceoff's at center ice. It's another great save there by Bordeaux. Leary flips it up to Vertrano. Vertrano takes a shot. Big pad save there. Great rebound control sending into the corner. Green Wave able to regroup again. Joe Daly sent it deep. Nolan Petricelli there gets it back to the point. Wrist shot. Bordeaux flashed the pad on that one. Hunter Smith gets it out of the zone. Smith again. Dangerous cross ice pass. Does come out of the zone though. Jason Smith picks it up behind his own net. Clippers change on the fly. He had some operating room, made the long pass. That didn't work out too well. Finally, Shane Prusak banks it out of the zone. Collected by Aiden Coyle. Coyle finds Shea. Jason Smith, nice poke check there. Sammy Knight looks to get it up the boards. Ward.
Ward drops it for Shea. Shea got the backhander away. Bordeaux equal to the task. 6.24 to go. No score on the board. Nice little dipsy doodle there by Shea between feet to get away a little wrister there, but Bordeaux's really locked in. He's looking, he's seeing those pucks clearly, making those good saves. Face off to Bordeaux's left side. Puck is sent deep by Jack Coyle. Centering attempt. Gagne forced Devon out of the zone. Sammy Knight picks up the loose change. Looking for some help. He collects. Gets a quick shot away. Just went wide. Paulin sends it back deep. Nice defensive play by MJ Paulin. Matt Garvin gets a quick shot away. That's blocked by Jack Coyle. Save, Devin. Nice save through traffic. Clippers finally clear the zone. Nice little rush by the Green Wave there. Puck sent back in to the Green Wave end of the ice. Ethan Bryant takes a look. Once again, the Clippers change on the fly. Bryant's got some real estate. Brings it up the left side. Long pass goes the length of the ice. That's an icing call. 5.20 to go in a scoreless first period. Green Wave with a little bit of jump in their game there, Bill. That was the best stretch there. All started by Brody Gagne with a smart little play along the boards. Takes the hit, chips it along the boards into the offensive zone. Sammy Knight's able to take that into the offensive zone and get a shot off. Prusak won the draw forward. Lavoine. His shot went through the crease. Dylan Archer keeps it in at the point. Battle along the boards. Lavoine comes out with it. His shot's deflected wide. Kaczewski's got it. No look backhander. Sent back in by Bauman. Clippers with that long clearing attempt picked up by Dylan Archer. Archer loses control. Picked up by Kevin Bauman. Bauman looks to settle things down. He makes a long feed. He's got Shane Pruzak. Pruzak beats Jack Coyle. Save, Devin. And Kaczewski on the rebound from the near wall. Gets the shot away. Another save for Quinn Devin. Another great, great run there by Green Wave with Paulin making that big breakout pass there to, Def uh, to Prusak. Race for it, Timmy Ward. Forrest deep, oh! Austin Shea just chipped it up over the top. Matt Garvin looks to clear the zone, can't do it. Chapani in the corner. Knight finds Gagne. Gagne can't control. He was shouldered off by Declan Devon. Coil in front of his own net. Hunter Smith collects it in the neutral zone. Play goes back the other way. Coil sends it deep. Hunter Smith. Jason Smith. Nice little defensive play there. Carries into the Norwell zone. He's mauled over on the far side. Looked like he took a knee in the head. Sure did. He kind of lost his edge. And Maxwell Milano hit him. But no intent there. Just finishing the check and losing your edge. Right. Tough hockey play. But it looks like Smith's okay. Yeah, that's good. We would also like to thank Mesa Verde of Greenfield, one of our underwriters this season. 10 Fisk Avenue. You know where they are. MesaVerdeGreenfield.com. Whole menus online. I take advantage of that all the time. Ooh, puck bounces off a Prusak skate. Quinn Devon had to be alert there. 3.18 to go in a scoreless first period. 
Play seems to be opening up a little bit more. Face off to Quinn Devon's left side. Shane Pruzak on the draw for the Green Wave. Kept in by Ethan Bryant. Clippers go D to D. Get it out of the zone. Paulin. Far side. Bordeaux save and a beauty. Quinn Simmons is all alone on the left side. Another shot goes wide. Clippers behind the green wave net. Ethan Bryant, he's hooked. Max Milano leaped up. Got his glove on the puck, sent it back into the zone, was offside. Face off in front of the Green Wave bench, 2.34 to go in a scoreless first period. Clippers control. Jack Coyle carries it in onside. Garvin, nice check there. Kevin Bauman. Jack Coyle carries back in for Norwell. Stick to side by Bordeaux. Dylan Archer picks it up in front of the net. Tries to clear the zone. Gagne couldn't quite get control of that. Sammy Knight. He looks to send it out. He does. Matt Garvin knocked down on the play. Dylan Archer, nice defensive play by the Green Wave net. Bordeaux save. Ronan Schiapani got that one off from the blue line. Point blank range. Big save. Blocked out front. Dylan Archer sends it down into the Norwell zone. Puck is knocked down out front, and there's a whistle on the play. Puck was hit with a high stick. By the Clippers, faceoff's going to go all the way back down into the Norwell zone to the right of goaltender Quinn Devon. 1.06 to go in a fast-moving first period of play here at the Bog in Kingston. Also like to thank Alex Ciano and his CPA firm, 377 Main Street in Greenfield. Give Alex a call, 413-774-6036. Ooh, puck almost deflected in off of the Norwell defender. Milano sends it out. Hunter Smith rejects that offer at the blue line. Simmons looks to carry deep, can't do it. Smith knocks it back out into the neutral zone. Leary got the shot off. It was wide. Blocked by Jason Smith. Banks it off the glass. Kept in at the blue line temporarily by Milano. Prusak. Puck was on edge. Couldn't quite get it over to Kaczewski. Green wave change on the fly. Paulin heads back to his own zone. Banks it off the boards. Finds Gagne. Paulin again says no. That is going to do it for the first period of play. Fast moving. Great period of high school ice hockey here at the Bog in Kingston. Teams both go off. No score after one period, Bill. That was pretty good. That was a great first period. One versus 32. Norwell had 13 shots to Green Wave's six. They had the more quality scoring chances with eight to Greenfield's two. But as a road team, coming two and a half hours out to the South Shore, getting a scoreless first period is a is a victory. That's that's what you want. You want to reduce the amount of time, play a good first period, get the 
feel of the opponent, feel of the rink, know kind of how the rink plays and how the other team plays. And then I'm sure Coach Bouchard and his coaching staff will make some adjustments in the second period. And we'll be ready for that. All right, we're going to take a timeout. We'll be back with second period action in just a few minutes. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on GCTV at FCAT. Welcome back to second period action here at the Bog in Kingston, Massachusetts. Lou Bordeaux, Bill Drake with you here today. MIAA State Championships, round of 32. Norwell Clippers, number one seeded in the Commonwealth against our Greenfield Green Wave. Green Wave and their road blacks will be skating left to right here in the second period. Clippers in their home whites, trimmed with blue. Going from right to left. They pick up the puck in the neutral zone right away. Timmy Ward carries in. Pass goes into Austin Shea's feet. Can't handle. Goes behind the net. Referee. Battle in the corner. Comes up the boards. Kept in at the blue line by Declan Devon. Norwell controls behind the net. Timmy Ward brings it back up the boards, kept in at the blue line. Centering attempt, blocked by Kevin Bauman, goes up over the top. Ward again sends it back to the point. Shot goes over the net. Bruzak sidesteps Jack Coyle. Puck finally comes out of the green wave zone. Prusak and Coyle battle over in front of the penalty boxes. Puck goes into the Norwell zone. Green Wave changing things up. Long feed, it's a breakaway, but it was offside. Quick heads up pass there while Green Wave was finishing their change. Norwell deep within their own zone. Nearly get a breakaway there on the blue line, but just take himself offside, anticipating that pass just a little bit wrong. I've been impressed with Green Wave's face-offs as well. Oh, well, we're going to see Matt Garvin on this one. Face-off to the left side of Quinn Devon. Brody Gagne got the shot away. Pad save Devon. Hunter Smith over to Jason. Jason loses an edge. Matt Garvin, nice forecheck. Puck goes all the way into the Green Wave zone. Jason Smith carries. Can't clear the zone. Fancy move by Kevin Leary. Hunter Smith picked that up, sent it the length of the ice. Going to be an ice and call. Face off back to the right side of goaltender Josh Bordeaux. 13 5 to go in a scoreless second period. We would like to thank our underwriters this season. Regary Real Estate, located at 82 Federal Street in Greenfield. Give Joe's office a call, 413-222-9291. Shane Prusak on the draw. Clippers won it forward, back to the point. Milano, shot from the blue line. Bordeaux had a good sight line on it. Gloved it. Faceoff's going to be to Bordeaux's right side. Once again, Shane Prusak on the defensive zone draw for the green wave. Just like last time, Connor Terrian won it forward. MJ Paulin has it. Can't get it out of the zone. Stripped by Nolan Petricelli. He's got nowhere to go. Knocked back behind the Green Wave net. Kaczewski. 
Kept in at the blue line by Tarion. Chesky gets it out of the zone. Milano sends it back in. That's blocked by Ethan Bryant. Bryant carries it out. Aiden Coyle behind his net. Pass goes all the way down into the green wave zone. Kevin Bauman. Sends it the length of the ice. Kutch couldn't get a stick on it. That one goes for an icing. 12-12 to go in the second period of play. Also like to thank Greenfield Savings Bank for underwriting Green Wave hockey this season. They're located at 400 Main Street in Greenfield. On the web, greenfieldsavings.com. And the Terraza Restaurant at the Country Club of Greenfield. On the web, terrazagreenfield.com. And don't forget the Balkan Lounge located at 4 Ames Street. Be sure to check them out on Facebook. Moves puck down behind the Green Wave net. Bauman loses his balance. Carried out by Gagne, nicely. Sammy Knight. Tried to go, oh, the puck was loose in the crease. Nobody there to bang it home. Shea goes back the other way, and Bordeaux gloves it. Great hard work by Sammy Knight there. Battles through, keeps his legs moving, chips it once, backhand, hits off the pad, nearly gets a second shot right there gaping net, but like you said, Lou, nobody there crashing the net for that rebound, but good effort by Green Wave there, another defensive zone faceoff. Yeah, it was a great second effort by Sammy Knight as he split the two Norwell defenders. Kaczewski comes out of the zone. His poke check by Kevin Leary, carried back into the Green Wave zone. Jason Smith Picks up the loose puck, sends it back into Norwell's end. Milano takes a look. Plays onside, Matt Lavoine. Nice save, Quinn Devon. Already some much better chances by Green Wave this period than they had all of the first period. They're seeing to be more confident on the ice, feeling more at home here, being able to make better chances happen with their hard work. 11.03 to go in the second period. Matt Garvin on the draw for the Green Wave. Connor Tarion on the other side for Norwell. Sammy Knight came away with it, couldn't get the shot away. Petrocelli for Norwell, carries in. It's blocked out of play by Ethan Bryant. Centering attempt picked up by Garvin. Behind the back pass by Joe Daly. Sent in, Bordeaux got a glove on that. Left it for Bryant. Puck went in end over end. Couldn't really hold it. Puck bounces out of the zone. Jack Coyle carries all the way back to his zone. Goes cross ice to Declan Devon. Schiapani got a stick on it. Long pass by Paulin. Gagne got a stick on it, so there's no icing on the play. Green wave change. Timmy Ward behind his own net. Kaczewski's there on the forecheck. Banked off the glass. Kept in right at the blue line by Kevin Bauman. Play would have been way offside. Schipani stops, circles. Shouldered off. Sidesteps. Bordeaux, big save. And the rebound. Austin Shea right on the doorstep for the rebound. Bordeaux equal to the task. This is still a scoreless game, 9.46 to go in the second period. Chapani really carrying that puck in, dangles around a little bit of the green wave defense. Manages to get a shot off. Bordeaux, though, locked in, able to see that all the way. No rebound. Centering attempt. Brusak denied that. Jason Smith. Flip pass, bounces over Milano's stick. Bruce accent flying. Great poke check right there by Hunter Smith. Kaczewski goes back the other way. Play starting to open up here, Bill. It sure is. 
Game more end-to-end -end for both teams. Gagne, nice play. Find Sammy Knight. Knight gives chase to Aiden Coyle. Coyle dumps it for Milano. Long cross-ice feed. Drop pass. Post! Kevin Leary, Kevin Leary got the big slap shot off. Hit the post to the right of Josh Bordeaux. Devin back in his own zone. Couple of nice moves there by Kevin Leary. Puck goes behind the green wave net. That shot goes wide from the point. Petrocelli tried to get a skate on that, couldn't do it. Clippers carry back into their own zone, D to D. Long cross ice feed. Daly, his shot goes over the top. Kaczewski gets the puck out of the zone, gives chase. Couldn't quite get a stick on it. Petricelli carries in for the Clippers. His shot, Bordeaux got an elbow on that. Nice defensive play by Matt Lavoy, knocked it out of the zone. Kaczewski carries through the neutral zone, sent the puck deep. Petricelli along the left side had no option. He sent it deep. Ethan Bryant, while the Clippers change, takes a look. Decides to go behind his own net. Reverses. Double reverses. Loses his twig. Paulin can't control. He loses an edge. Picked up by Ward. Bryant dives for his stick. Shea got the shot away. I think that was a save by Bordeaux. A lot of traffic out front. Bounces out to center ice. Jack Coyle recalibrates. Timmy Ward sends it in. Knocked back out of the zone by Matt Lavoine. Battle in front of the linesman. Sent all the way back in by Timmy Ward. MJ Paulin's got it in the corner. He's knocked off. Play getting physical in the far corner. Kept in at the blue line by Aiden Coyle. Jake Croto in the near corner. Kevin Leary, another long shot. Bordeaux corrals that. 5.58 to go in the second period of play. Still, no score here at the Bog in Kingston. Thank you, Greenfield Cooperative Bank. On the web, greenfieldcoopbank.com. Or give them a call, 877-682-0334. Dylan Archer, look to go back this way, look for Jake Jurek. Puck just went a little bit behind him. Kaczewski's there. And that long feed goes the length of the ice. Faceoff's going to come back into the Norwell end of the rink. Also like to say thank you to Mesa Verde of Greenfield. 10 Fisk Avenue on the web, mesaverdegreenfield.com. Alex Siano is CPA firm. Thank you, Alex. They're located at 377 Main Street. Give them a call, 413-774-6036. Shane Prusak on the draw. Kind of a stalemate, one at forward, however. Oh, centering attempt. Kaczewski was, the puck was just up in the air. He couldn't get a stick on it. Another centering attempt by Bauman. Nobody there to collect. Paulin gets knocked down. Kaczewski on the four check. Stayed with it. Puck bounces up. Jake Jurek's there. Paulin finds Jurek. Puck's in his feet. Couldn't quite get it over to Kaczewski. Quinn Simmons cuts back the other way. His long pass, that's going to go for icing. 
you can see with those long icing passes what Norwell's trying to do. You've got this really big neutral zone. And so as they're breaking out, they're looking for that diagonal pass to kind of come across seam from green wave and then maybe turn what is an being down numbers to a three on two if they can get through that neutral zone really quick. It's happened to not connect, but that's something that Green Wave needs to be on the lookout for. Conatarian wins the draw for the Clippers. Puck is kept in by Jason Smith. Hunter Smith banks it off the boards in that wide neutral zone. Nice defensive play by Matt Lavoine. Sammy Knight and Aiden Coyle collide. Sammy Knight took the worst of that one. Puck comes out of the zone. We've got a line of forward line of three big boys. We've got Wisman, Knight, and center by Lavoine. Yeah, that's a new combination. Carried in, shot's blocked. Smith reverses, banks it off of the glass, comes out of the zone. Carried back in by the Clippers. Jason Smith again banks it off the boards in front of the Norwell bench. Clippers send it back deep, down behind the Green Wave net. Hunter Smith in a battle in the corner. Puck is picked up by Austin Shea. Carries behind the net. Leary's backhander. Picked up by Lavoie and he finds Sammy Knight. Puck was just a little bit behind Knight. I got the shot away. Went wide on the short side. Puck's in Jake Jurek. Jack Coyle finally clears his own for the Clippers. Prusak, his shot away. Devin got the blocker on that one. Paul couldn't quite keep it in at the blue line. Backhands it in. Jurek on the four check. Kuczewski, four check on the far side. Jurek, it's two on one developing. Fine. Oh, nice defensive play. Declan Devin broke that one up nicely. Lyra got the shot away. It was blocked out front. Didn't get the rebound, another one thrown towards the net. Threw a screen, Bordeaux. Turn that one aside. Wrist shot from the point, deflected up into the netting. Well, Green Wave was controlling the play there for a few minutes and then Norwell able to bring it back the other way, get a couple of big shots on, on Josh there. And now it's gonna be a face off to Josh's left. Minute 55 to go in the second period. Norwell's got it, backhander. Bordeaux just turned that aside. Just got a skate on it. Looked like it came out, but Linesman said that's good. Nice defensive play by Dylan Archer. Another good play by Archer. Chapani in the corner. Cross ice to Milano. Coil at the point. Gets the shot away, hit the post. There were six bodies in front of the goaltender. He couldn't see that one. Final minute. Austin Shea was back door there. He couldn't get the stick on it. Puck went the length of the ice for icing. 
A little bit of danger there for the Green Wave. 51.6 seconds to go. We'd like to thank Regary Real Estate located at 82 Federal Street in Greenfield. Give Joe a call, 413-222-9291. Lavoine wins it back. Matt Garvin gets his pocket picked by Griffin Vetrano. Jason Smith put that pass behind Sammy Knight. Hunter Smith keeps it in at the far point. Simmons can't control. Garvin. Bad save, Devin. The point centering attempt. Sammy Knight was just obstructed by Devin in the slot. Two periods in the books here at the Bog in Kingston. 30 minutes of high school hockey. This one is scoreless. Bill, holy cow. Another, another great period. You can hear the fans from both sides cheering their teams on. Green Wave got to be proud about that one again. Shots in that period, five for Green Wave, 10 for Norwell for a two period total of 11 for Green Wave and 23 for Norwell. A lot of end-to-end -end action. Both periods I felt like that there was a period where Green Wave were starting to come on, but that last minute, two minutes in both the first and the second, Norwell was really stepping on the gas, putting out um, Austin Shea there for nearly that entire time. And you see how dangerous he is. Word on the street was he played juniors last year, came back to Norwell, and he was sniffing around back door. But Bordeaux up to the task every time and making those big saves. All right, so with 30 minutes of high school hockey here in the books in this round of 32 matchup, we are going to take a timeout while the Zamboni comes out, does its thing, and we'll be back with third period action in just a few minutes. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on GCTV and FCAT. To the Bog in Kingston, Massachusetts, Norwell Clippers, number one seed in the Maya State Championship Division IV tournament on the ice. Green Wave coming back on the ice. Teams are going to take a minute or two to stretch out, get ready for the third period. Coach Bill Drake, zero. Who would have thought zero to zero after two periods? Yeah, you never know. I mean, I think everything that happens in the regular season features in what's going to happen here, but this is a new new season. It's tournament time. All of that gets put away, and it's just two teams playing each other, winner take all. And here we've got a real barn burner of 0-0 after three, and we got excellent 15 minutes of hockey coming up, I'm sure. Well, and something we touched on during the Gardner game on Wednesday night, with these one-and-done games, everything's a game seven. Right. You don't have a lot of momentum coming in, although Green Wave did have, did play last. They played on Wednesday. Norwell hadn't played since the 22nd. Green Wave's used that momentum to come out, hold the number one team in the tournament to 23 shots and no goals, and they've got 15 minutes here in the third to surprise people. And I think this is the period. You know, Bouchard's got him ready. I see him clapping on the bench. The boys are standing up, ready to go. 
The cleverest benches hanging sticks, and here we are. Kevin Bauman right off the bat carries in for the green wave. Gets deep in the Norwell zone, circles behind the net. Bauman's shot goes wide. Kruzak couldn't keep it in at the far side. Shea on the far, far side for Norwell. Net comes off. Great, great hit. To divorce the puck from Shea. Clivers fans felt there was a penalty there, but all there was was Shea feeling bad for himself on the ice and picking his helmet and putting it back on his head because Bauman just absolutely laid him out. Bordeaux still made the save even after the net was kicked off, just for a good measure. And the faceoff comes outside of the Green Wave blue line, attesting to the fact that the whistle was blown because of Shea crashing the post. Both wingers closing in. Linesman still dropped the puck. Jack Coyle goes cross ice. Sent in deep. Paulin and Shea battle in the corner. Hard pass. Bounces all the way around to the point. Sent back in. Shot blocked, shot went wide. Clippers come out firing on all cylinders here in the third period. Scoreless tie. What a save! First official shot of the period. Great glove by Bordeaux there after Bauman was was battling hard with Chapani, and Chapani is able to cut inside and a little flick of the wrist, but Bordeaux's glove is right there. A couple of the Clippers are holding their heads after that one. Shot from the point. Another save Bordeaux. Finally cleared out of the zone. Jason Smith tries to get it out of the zone, can't do so. Centering attempt. Bad save, Bordeaux. Oh, it's a score! And the glass is broken on the ice. The Clippers shot the puck. They went to celebrate. And then Griffin Vitrano, the captain, body checked the ice, shattering the glass in front of the student section. That's a problem. That could be a big problem. Certainly, I, uh, I don't know how quickly they can fix a pane of glass here, but it is all over the ice and it is all over the stands as well because the shatter hit the, hit the student section but then also spilled over onto the ice, right? Back on the play, Smith clear, goes to clear it. Can't quite get the clear out. Puck is recycled back to the point over on the green wave side. That hard shot, Bordeaux's able to get his right pad on, but he kicked it out into the slot where Captain Griffin Fetrano was uh, able to net the rebound. But it looks like he was also sent off and I can't tell if it is because he was cut on the play or if it's because the refs sent him off. But either way, 13.28 left in the third. Clippers up one nothing. Refs are conferencing with. We, uh, we had a game a couple of seasons ago at the Mullen Center in Amherst that a side panel of glass was shattered in pregame warmups and it actually caused cancellation or postponement, I should say, of the game that night. Now, something like this that happens in the course of a very competitive game, uh, I'm reasonably sure that the Green Wave 
wouldn't be in a rush to come back out here if for some reason this cannot be repaired right now. This, this is uncharted territory, Bill. Clearly, I mean, just looking down at the student section, not only do they have to repair it, but there is plexiglass all over the ice as well. <laughs> so what the next steps are is unclear. I'm seeing some Clippers players. Oh, they were walking off the bench, and it looks like maybe they're going to the locker room now. Skaters have their shields up and are milling about. One player's taking a knee while Green Wave, Coach Bouchard has pulled everybody together and huddled them up. I was not looking when the glass broke. I heard it, but I was making note of where the shot was. Did you get a chance to see it happen? I, I did not see it happen, but like yourself, Bill, uh, with these uh, fancy headsets we have here at GCTV and FCAT, they block out a lot of the ancillary sounds in the building, and I heard something that didn't belong. I turned down, and that was when I noticed that we had problems down there. And here go Green Wave. They're going to the bench. Or, sorry, excuse me. They're going to the locker room, coming off the ice. Norwell is still on the ice. And that may be because they're going to have to go off that way to avoid any of the potential glass. Because, again, going back to that night that the glass broke at the Mullen Center, uh, there's a, a tremendous amount of danger there if, if somebody catches just a small shard of glass uh, they'll go flying and you certainly don't want to go flying into the shattered glass that's all over the ice surface now rink staff is now up cleaning it so I think we're going to take a time out here because we are not certain what's going to happen so we're going to try and find out. We're going to take a break in the meantime. We hope we're back with you shortly. But you're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT and GCTV. perhaps wondering where we went. We didn't forget about you. You know, I wasn't watching the clock. I was told by the Norwell AD that that was gonna take 20 minutes. I think we were close to an hour, maybe longer. Uh, right after Norwell scored the goal, presumably their goal scorer went to Selly and ran into the pane of glass over there by the blue line. So after a lengthy repair, they finally got uh, another piece of glass in there. It doesn't quite fit, but you know, it's not my rink. And for safety reasons, the Zamboni made a completely new sheet of ice. The captains from both teams are now over in front of the repair. The officials look like they're scraping the ice. One's on his hands and knees because obviously even if there's one shard of glass that's still over there it's going to be a potential problem for the student athletes on this ice and the officials too. The, uh, the, the problem is that it could catch an edge player could go flying or in a worst case scenario 
a player could, or an official could, lose that edge, slide through there, and you certainly don't ever want to be sliding across glass at a high rate of speed, Bill. I've heard uh, that's not a good thing, and from watching Die Hard, I've learned that uh, glass is not your friend when, you, uh, when you're sliding across it. It doesn't really work out for anybody. Glass always wins, in other words. Yeah, that, they've done a lot of um, improvisation over here to fix the glass. They had to take, I learned a lot about what goes into glass and the barriers, and they had to take out a whole section that kind of clamps the, the sheet in to be able to get this piece in. They had the Zamboni out as a kind of giant workstation on which the glass resided. Somebody stood on top of the Zamboni to slide this piece of plexiglass in, and then they took a piece of wood and then banged that into the back to give it enough pressure so it wouldn't come loose. And, uh, and now the officials are finding glass all the way into the neutral zone up on the dasher. Unless that's a screw. I don't know why a screw would have been on the dasher three sections over. Gingerly brushing with his fingers. Once again, tempting fate. Well, in case you forgot, friends, we are at the Division Four round of 32 game. Number one ranked Norwell Clippers had just taken a one to nothing lead over the 32nd ranked Greenfield Green Wave. There are 13 minutes and 28 seconds remaining in the third period of this contest. Looks like everything is going along according to the new and improved plan. Norwell now is back on the ice. I've been told that the teams are going to take a five minute warm up because after all, they've been sitting for over an hour. I know the Green Wave skaters were stretching with coach, strength and conditioning coach Nick Marsher a little while ago. Green Wave have still not made it back out onto the ice surface. They've got the five minutes up on the board for the warm up. No role players are stretching. Door is open for Green Wave. I see Coach Adam Bouchard, Mike Duclos, and Corey Lovett back over to the Green Wave bench. I was told during that break that there won't be any delay of game penalty called against the Clippers for breaking the glass. In some ways, this break can be uh, a positive for Green Wave. You had a tough away game, finally concede a goal in the third period, and then instead of Norwell being able to really just take a next shift and start building pressure, you've got everything put on ice, pun intended, and then we got to warm up and it's just a really condensed game 13, 28 left. Well, that's a good point, Bill. And I really have to agree with you completely because after over an hour's break, whatever momentum there was has certainly gone into the locker rooms along with the boys. So we are going to start essentially over again. So as you said, 13, 28 to go in this third period. And uh, with the score one nothing, it's like uh, Norwell's playing with a one-goal handicap at this point. So Green Wave are going to have to put two on the board to advance to the second round of this tournament. And I'm sure Coach Bouchard prepared everybody that it's going to be a tough fight. There can be no getting past the ranking of the Clippers, and so there's going to be adversity. Nobody would know or be willing to suggest that it would be because glass was broken. And until that goal, Green Wave had to be very happy with their game. They were holding the Clippers, this juggernaut that had only conceded, only had 
three games decided by two goals or fewer all season and has never scored less than three a game in their 20 games that they've played this season. So right now, Green Wave is playing an excellent game and they've got time on the, on the clock to still do something really fabulous and make a name for themselves in this tournament. Let's not forget, for 31 and a half minutes, this was a 0-0 tie. Uh, I know that Norwell was out shooting the Green Wave, but by and large, it was not a lopsided game at any point. You know, each team had, ch had some chances, and I think we can look forward to that over the last 13 minutes and 28 seconds, Bill. Agreed. Green Wave were really good on the counter, being able to get a puck up get some odd man situations going. Norwell also very good on the counter, um, but Green Wave able to keep him in check. In the third period so far, Norwell has had four shots in that first minute and a half to no shots on net by Greenfield. Um, but now we've got a whole, it's almost like a whole new period again. Yeah, fresh sheet of ice. Boys all stretched out. They certainly have their tasks laid out for them. And there, there were a couple of good scoring opportunities in both the first and the second periods. Just a matter of not being able to get that little, maybe a half second or a quarter second or a little bit of space out there to get the good shot away. And that's what you see in the games like this is that against really quality uh, opponents, the speed of the game just gives you a little less time to react, a little less space. And Green Wave have been good dealing with that, and they're gonna have to really find it in their game to be able to push through and get a quick goal here. Prusak had a couple of good chances. I've been happy with his game. I thought Bodie Gagne's been playing a really good supporting role in his line, playing physical, making some good zone exits on and then the two captains on D Bauman and, and Paulin are really playing some stalwart defense and leading the rush when they have the opportunities but more is going to be needed from Green Wave's offense here and we've got about 40 seconds left before the whistle blows and the third period resumes well it'll be interesting to see what the immediate flow of play is going to look like here. Uh, it's, it's really hard to predict where we knew very little about the Norwell Clippers coming into this game. Uh, obviously, we know plenty about the Green Wave squad, but how will this hour plus delay affect each side is really the big money question here, Bill. Yeah, we're definitely in uncharted territory. I mean, we were to begin the day, and now with a stoppage a sheet of plexiglass replaced and a intermission, an unexpected intermission in the beginning of the third period. Who knows? Let's hope that Norwell had a lot of chicken wings from the snack shack over here during the un unexpected intermission and they're feeling a little heavy in the legs and hopefully Green Wave with Marsher's help has been stretched, they're ready to go. One thing about the Green Wave coaching staff, they always have their players, student athletes prepared and ready to go. Well, there's no doubt about that. And, you know, it's, it's such a treat to be a part of this program. And I'm sure you feel the same way, Bill, that we see these student athletes develop. And uh, as you alluded to earlier in the game today, whether it's student athletes who had been part of the JV program as freshmen that are now really relied upon in these big, important situations. Uh, it's, it's just a treat to see them develop, not just as athletes, but their student side as well, to see them embrace maturing. It's, uh, it's, it's always been a treat for me, and this is eight or nine years I'm around the program, and uh, it keeps me going. We are finally back underway. Kevin Bauman gets the puck into the Norwell zone.
Pollen bangs it back into the Clipper zone. Back to the original starting lineup with Prusak, Lavoine, and Trevor Kocheski out on forwards for Green Wave. Chapani behind the Green Wave net. Puck kept in at the point, sent back in. Chapani takes the body, swing, and a miss by Shea. Ward circles, reverses. Puck comes out of the zone. Prusak trying to force the issue. He's going to go for a change. Leary carries in. He let go a couple of bombs earlier. Garvin carries out for Green Wave. Nice move there. He takes an elbow in the head for his efforts. Play getting a little more physical right now. Bordeaux makes the save. I thought there's two possibilities of penalties there. One, and the hit on Bauman and behind the net it seemed like clear interference. He did not have the puck right and the player came in to impede that. And then later, it's a high stick there and uh, again, not called. Jason Smith, lead for Prusak. Pru carries into the zone. Poke checked away by Max Milano. Milano goes back the other way. Simmons has it. Skates over it. Back to Milano. Garvin picks it up. Three on two. Three on two developing. Shot just goes high and wide. Strange bounce off the corner glass. Perhaps that one's been replaced at some point. Sammy Knight's backhanded pass. Smith, shot. Blocked in front. Devin covers. Faceoff's going to be to his left side. Some nice pressure there by the Green Wave. 11-18 to go in the third period. 1-0, Norwell on top. Great choice by Smith there to just come in and step into that shot. Blocked, but nearly a good rebound there in the slot. Ethan Bryant, his shot's deflected wide. Matt Lavoine just missed wide. Ethan Bryant can't keep it in at the blue line. Clippers go the other way. Shea gets around. Save Bordeaux and a beauty. Timmy Ward spun around. Paulin's there. He's stripped. Bordeaux, another save. Ethan Bryant banks it off the boards. Can't clear. Bryant's got to get those hands down. Paulin. Leary takes a run at him. Kaczewski can't clear the zone. Leary over to Simmons. Pad save Bordeaux and a beauty. Puck is loose on the side of the net. Comes around the other side. Nice defensive play by Ethan Bryant. Matt Lavoie clears the zone. And Simmons is offside. Nice chance by Matt Lavoine down at the other end. Kaczewski's in the corner. He flips it to Lavoine. Lavoine gets it on his forehand. Just flicks it a little bit wide over the pad, the left pad of, of Quinn Devon. Face off of the Green Wave blue line. One by Tarion. He's got it. Puck is sent deep by Joe Daly. Hey! No one Petroselli with the goal. Just came around. Bordeaux had his skate up against the post. But that uh, that wraparound just went up and over the leg pad. Yeah, popped up and over in 
Norwell been generating a lot behind the net. Face off. Goes into the green wave zone. Jason Smith behind the net collects it. Pauses. Gets it out. Flippers again gain the zone. Chapani drops. Garvin can't clear. Chapani and Smith battle for it. Garvin stripped. Jurek gets it out of the zone. Shea's cross ice pass was blocked by Sammy Knight. He follows through on it. He's sent to the ice for his efforts. Kept in at the blue line by Jake Jurek. Finds Sammy Knight. What a save! Quinn Devon. Sammy Knight just couldn't elevate that backhander enough. Ward cuts in. Deked and beat Ward. Oh, it's 3 0 Norla. Jerk has a great shift there. Gets the puck deep to Sammy Knight. Sammy Knight right in the slot. Not able to lift that puck. Play comes back down the other way. And beats the defender. Pulls in from the far side by the Green Wave bench and is able to flip it over. 8.35 remaining. Yeah, with eight and a half remaining, Green Wave are gonna have to uh, perhaps go into desperation mode here. Simmons gains the zone, gets around Archer, save Bordeaux. Archer picked up the rebound, sends it, sends it around the far side. Got back in, blocker save Bordeaux, pucks loose. And another one. Their captain scored that one. Green Wave starting to run around their own zone. Bordeaux makes the initial save. They can't clear, gets just chipped back into play by Norwell. And with another shot in tight in the slot, it's now 4 0 with 8.07 left. Yeah, we got a timeout signaled. Green Wave coach Adam Bouchard calling timeout. Well, we see the explosiveness that Norwell brings. And their quick strike ability here as the number one seed. Green Wave fighting the good fight. This stoppage hurts them. Haven't been able to find their legs since the stoppage. Coaches. Well, we, we postulated after that long delay if there was gonna be a benefit to either side. And obviously the Clippers have come out and uh, just gotten that little bit of momentum going and two quick, well, three goals within about two minutes. Yeah. According to my score, score sheet, Bill. Yeah, everything's being really generated down low behind Green Wave's net, and I'm seeing a lot of Green Wave pinching down low to be able to cover that threat, leaving the points open, it gets recycled low to high, and then it's being redirected back at Josh from up there, and our defenders are not having quick enough feet to get back in front of the net to protect the, the slot there. So we're gonna hope that timeout works to the Waves' benefit. Eight minutes to go in the third period. Just like that, it's four nothing Clippers. Pollen's backhand clearing attempt. Is blocked by Petroselli. He's got one today. Long stretch pass. Prusak got a stick on it. Another breakout by the Clippers. Two on one. Nice poke check by Kevin Bauman. Jack Coyle collected the loose puck. Sends it back to the point. Shot. Blocker save Bordeaux. 
Ruzak long pass. Sent it through traffic. That was intercepted. Petroselli again. Carries in. Centering attempt. Bordeaux made a save. Was loose in the slot. Cleared away by Paulin. Shots blocked. Kevin Bauman has it. His long cross ice feed just behind Jake Jurek. Daly sends it back in. Paulin bats that one away. Collected by Ward. Ward reverses behind the green wave net. Pad save. Paulin had no other choice. Sends it the length of the ice for icing. 6.21 remain in the third period. 4-0 Norwell on top in this one. They just, Norwell seems more deliberate on their skates, moving their feet faster. In that last play, I counted five green wave all on the far side, kind of chasing the puck there. They're trying to find their game, and they're being aggressive, but got to continue to do what, they, what got them here, too. Aiden Coyle sends it back in for the Clippers. Jason Smith. Couple nice moves, gets the puck out of the zone. Nobody there to collect though. Centering pass by Shapani. Couldn't be finished off by Leary, it just was behind it by a little bit. Matt Lavoine banks it off the boards. Back out across the red line. Lavoine strips. It's loose. Smith mauled on the far side. Simmons, shot goes high and wide. Suddenly this game is all Norwell Clippers. Evan Simmons and Griffin Vetrano tearing up the Green Wave zone. Jason Smith has it. Under five minutes to go. Hunter Smith takes a look. Finds Jake Jurek. Pass, two on O. Oh. Shot goes high by Leary. Completely offsides. Bauman has it. Bauman skates it out of his own zone. Into the Clippers zone. He's knocked off the puck by Declan Devon. Kaczewski forced deep into his own zone. Collision in front of the Green Wave bench. Kaczewski sends it forward. Daly gains the zone. Nice play by Dylan Archer. Bauman long feed. Picked up in the neutral zone by Jack Coy. Clippers change. Bruzak. Loses control just past center ice. Regains. Save. Ward again for Norwell. 
Austin Shea got the shot away. Bordeaux got a pad on it. Went up into the netting. Faceoff's going to be two. Josh Bordeaux's right side. 2.46 to go in the third period. 4-0 Norwell on top in this one. Shot deflected over the net. Smith clears it out of the zone. It's not going to go the length of the ice. Milano sends it up. That play was offside. 2.22 remain in this third period of play. We'd like to thank our underwriters this season. Here on FCAT and GCTV, Greenfield Cooperative Bank, greenfieldcoopbank.com. Give them a call, 877-682-0334. Clippers gain the zone, Simmons. Centering attempt. Kept in at the blue line by Aiden Coyle. Cheska got in the way of that shot. Behind the green wave net. Shots turned aside by Bordeaux. Kucheski gets it out of the zone. Coyle sends it back in. We'd also like to thank Mesa Verde of Greenfield, 10 Fisk Avenue, MesaVerdeGreenfield.com. Alex Ciano, CPA firm, 377 Main Street. Give Alex a call. 413-774-6036. Prusak gets it out. Finds Jay Croto. Croto can't control. Sends it deep. Regary Real Estate, 82 Federal Street in Greenfield. 413-222-9291. Matt Lavoine in a battle. Croto joins the mix. Greenfield Savings Bank, 400 Main Street. Greenfieldsavings.com. Stick goes flying. And the Terraza Restaurant at the Country Club of Greenfield. On the web, terrazagreenfield.com. And the Balkan Lounge, 4 Ames Street. Be sure to check them out on Facebook. Thank you all for making Green Wave Hockey possible this season on GCTV and FCAT Sports. Final 45 seconds. And Jay Paulin can't get the shot away. Pulled goalie. Six for six skaters for Green Wave. Sammy Knight's got it. He's got the puck battered away by Max Milano. Milano's had a strong game on defense for the Clippers. Shea couldn't vary it from the blue line. And that's it. Norwell Clippers advance to take on Dover Sherborne Weston in the round of 16. Green Wave season comes to an abrupt halt. Shots that period, six for Green Wave, 14 for Norwell, three period totals, 17 for Green Wave, 37 for Norwell. Josh Bordeaux making 33 saves out of 37 shots. And here's the handshake line. The great tradition of hockey. And as, as the sides salute each other, you realize it's the end of the season for the Green Wave. Um, certainly something to build on for the 22-23 campaign. Uh, yes, we will be losing MJ Paulin, Kevin Bauman, Jake Croto, Benny Given, RJ Grondon. We will have incoming student athletes next season. We certainly hope we're able to bring you some of the action here on GCTV and FCAT. Unfortunately, no goals to review tonight for the Green Wave. Uh, four Norwell goals in that third period. 
was certainly the difference in this one. Bill, any final comments? A lot to be proud of by Green Wave. They came in as the 3A champions, and here they are playing in Division 4, and that may sound on paper like a step down, but all of these teams were actually D3 last year, and they were playing teams who they would not have normally faced. So to see the kind of improvement against the D3 team like this that's number one ranked in the state and take away a couple of bad minutes, you've got a 0-0 game for the majority of it, I think is very impressive. And though it's going to sting and it's going to hurt, it is, um, it is a still an impressive accomplishment to make states, to win Western Mass again. It's a big season, and not everybody gets to finish the season with a win. Well, and that's a good point. The, uh, the toughest part of the schedule for the Green Wave this season was the Barry Division teams back in our regular season uh, went 0-5 with them, and that's uh, Division Two and Division Three schools. Couldn't quite finish today. Uh, Norwell, let's not take anything away from them. They played a solid defensive game. Uh, Green Wave had some flurries, had some opportunities, but ultimately, uh, I would have to say, Norwell was better today, and they deserve the W. Definitely, number one ranked team in the state, haven't lost since 2021. But they've played, Green Wave played a great game. Norwell shows why they're so dangerous. They are steady defensively, and then they can pick you off and make you pay for the mistakes. And that's, that's what happens, is the mistakes at this level are costly because you run out of time and you can't come back from them. But nothing to shake your heads at. A good, good game, even with the delay. I mean, so much adversity to overcome while having to wait for glass to be changed and all of this. So. Really a good season, great season by Green Wave, and uh, I'm already ready for the next one. There we go. All right, so as we wrap things up here at the BOG, I would like to thank our FCAT crew for making the roadie today. The boss, Kevin Murphy, Megan, our producer, Alec Eckel, and I see Luke here somewhere. I'd like to thank all of them for their efforts this season. Certainly couldn't do any of this without them. Bill Drake, it's been a pleasure to share the JV bench with you this year. Pleasure sure. to share the broadcast position with you. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you for having me. And thanks for everybody for listening and supporting Green Wave Hockey over this whole season. So for the final time in the 2021-22 season, this is your old buddy, the skate doctor, Lou Bordeaux, saying thank you for tuning in. Final score today, Norwell 4, Green Wave nothing. Thanks for giving us a great season. We'll look for you in December. And good night from the bog. <laughs>